Hello everybody, this is Scrubs Mega Kit, and today we're back in Kinchi. I haven't done a whole lot since the last episode. I'm rebuilding this. I'm basically just working on rebuilding uh, the buildings right now. But as you can see, we're back to day one here. Uh, there was an update to the game, and I had to uh, import my game. So we've uh, we've gotten set back to the first day. We're going to be doing more stuff over here. Uh, I might just leave one person and then take everybody else out to... Um, I'll probably leave one person and the bull here. And then bring everybody else out. Uh, so part of the update is now animals take food. So that's going to be kind of a problem. It shouldn't be too bad. We only got two animals and I'm going to leave the bull here. Um, but I'll take Spike with us. And I, I haven't decided who I'm going to leave here yet. But one of the other things with the updates, um, I, I got a message down here, like as soon as I imported my game, saying that the tax man was on his way to the training outpost. So I was wondering where they were coming from, so I was checking down here, and I'm assuming this little white dot is the uh, the tax man, and he's coming to uh, to get us. So I just want to wait until he was a little bit closer before uh, I started the video. So let's just, we can track his progress through here. I'm wondering if he's going to be murdered by blood spiders. That's, that's my thing. But we're going to let them finish this over here, and then I will see you back at the training outpost. Okay, so we're here at the training outpost. Uh, I, I believe these birds are, are signaling us that the, uh, the tax man is on his way. It's a joke. I don't. I don't think that that's actually what that means. I think it just means that there's birds over there. But that's the direction the tax man is coming from. So we need to ask ourselves some some questions here. Do we want to pay taxes? We have enough. We'll see how much it is, and then we'll decide if we want to pay the taxes or not. <laughs> this is this is Ted the Crook's crew, not Ted the taxpayer's crew. I want to just wait for him to get here and see how this goes. Silver Shade's going to meet him at the door. A little Silver Clone, who I've exiled over here. <laughs> this also gives us a reason to leave people at our bases, uh, because I don't know what would have happened if there was a tax man on its way and there was just nobody here. So I'm going to just fast forward for a little bit until uh, he actually gets here to see what this is about. Alright guys, so I, I found them, they're close enough to where we can see them, and they are, they're right here. Samurai Surgeon, approaching fast, 62 plus 4 in their uh, attack, does not seem like the Red Sabres are interested in them. They know better than mess with the tax people. But they're on their way down right now, I really hope that this isn't a lot. I. Oh, yeah. we we own quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we've got the entire HQ, the training outpost, the hunting outpost that I haven't used, the freedom outpost. Um, I don't think the United Cities are particularly fond of us either, so we'll see how this goes. Taxman has arrived, so we're going to run out here and meet him. Ahem. What's so, up? Time to pay up this week's contribution, citizen. You set up shop on Empire land, you pay Empire taxes. The amount you need to pay is 3,000 cats. I don't pay taxes, I'm exempt. Uh, it's only 3,000, that's not bad. I would like to question it, but I feel like if I do it's going to uh, cause problems. Good, I'll see you in a week for the next contribution. Stay safe, sir. Insurgent weasels, what are you lurking around Empire Country for? Seize them for interrogation. Oh, wait, yeah, don't attack. I just, they just paid my taxes. Just here to trade. God damn it. I mean no harm, I swear. 
Whoa. Then prove to me that you're no terrorist, that you're no enemy. Show me some love. Lick my feet. God. I just... No. Turn around and walk away. No! Why? I paid my taxes. Stay away. Well, if we get behind this last layer, we should be fine. Oh. Zoomy, don't go out there. Don't try and repair. What did I just tell you, Zoomy? Yeah, look, he's committing a crime. Okay, he got bored and went, went away. So taxes are now a thing that we're going to have to deal with. I wonder, uh, I didn't check any of my faction stuff beforehand. Tax collector. Two days and 23 hours. That is not a week. Ugh. United Cities. I don't think that went up any. I wish it showed you like a points thing. Nomads now. Berserkers. I don't see... I just see Empire Peasants. I don't see any, like, faction for the Empire, so I don't know. I don't know if paying your taxes actually uh, increases your uh, faction reputation, but that would be nice. Since we're paying them money, they should be like, Oh, look, this guy pays his taxes. Maybe we should, you know, like him more. That's just a thought, though. No, no, uh... Nothing to base that on. We could probably move everybody into the hunting outpost, and then when the tax man comes, uh, he gets it ripped apart by beef things. I think that's a good idea. But back to the crew. All right, we're back over here with the crew. Ted and Silver Shade have finished this station house. I like the way the station house does look. There, that's a large area to to work with. I've been thinking about trying to set up shops out here. I just don't have all the materials I need at the moment. Um, I need a hydroponic system to make uh, rice wheat. And then I was thinking about getting sake stills. The only problem with that is I don't. you can't set a well down here inside the city limits. And I, there's not a well that I saw to begin with. So maybe I could just bring loot here to sell? I'm not sure. Make another hospital. I'm just going to go ahead and buy all these. Since, uh, since taxes aren't as crazy as I thought they were going to be. Uh, what is this? Can I buy this? Yep. And we'll just gradually buy the, uh, the building materials we need as but I don't know why we can't oh I guess because it someone's technically living in it. Someone's technically living in that too in that one. No one lives here. Okay. I think... Nope. Is that everything we can buy in the hub? That looks like it may be everything we can buy. So, whoever I leave here is going to get really good with engineering. Um, so, let me, let me look through everyone's stats and see who I want to leave. Alright guys, as much as I don't want to do this, I think we're just going to leave Silver Shade here. He's 
he's one of our he's one of our stronger fighters. He's one of our stronger stealth people. But his legs are always getting busted and slowing us down. And right now he's our I guess top engineer really. So we're just gonna leave Silver Shade here and the rest of us are gonna continue going. Uh, we're gonna leave him with a bull. And uh, well, I'll let him buy some food real quick before we uh, before we leave. And any of the building materials I have here. And he'll uh, uh, they'll they'll restock on building materials and stuff and food and all that. So we should be fine. He should be able to sustain himself here. Well, what you got? No. Two whole building materials. This is going to be a long process. Already known. Do I not know how to make Nadachis? I thought I I thought I had bought that at some point. What is this? Oh, that's <laughs> that's a plank. I just saw. Um, for a second, I thought the plate was just like a metal bar or something like that, and that was something completely different. I'm a dumb. Uh, let's go ahead and buy Nadachis. Because I could have sworn we had that. Ten Fist? The Metal Brute's terror is soon to end. Will you be the hero of the innocent? Uh, sure. But, but where's Ten Fist? Is that free? It is free. Well, if we run across Tin Fist, we'll take him out too. So that's new. I I'd seen stuff about Tin Fist before. I think it was in Drifter's last. Uh, the people were talking about Tin Fist, so he's probably in that area. Um, but I don't know. It's a, a pack bull. This one has horns. Our domesticated bull doesn't have horns, I don't believe. Unless that's changed. No, it looks like the the horns have been cut off. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Well, we are all heading out. Oh yeah, I forgot. It. I don't think I bought silver shade any food. Sorry, bud. Gotta yeah, go over here again. The pack guru. Or the nomads. No. Come back in here. Sorry. And yeah, I'll do you for right now. And we're gonna need to go ahead and make a new. Oh, I also noticed that Ted's the only one with a bounty on him now. Everyone else's bounty has disappeared with the import. So cool, I guess. I kind of like that the bounty had gotten up so high. Um, well, that's fine. That that helps out. Uh, we don't have to worry as many about as many people coming after us. So, Silver Shade is going to be working on this, and we are going to go the same way that we went in the first episode to try and get towards Bad Teeth. Um, well, we're going to go that direction, but somewhere in here, I can't remember where, there's a, uh, a tower where I think the Dust King is. Um, so, we're going to go see if we can't get to that. So if I see any new notifications or run into anything interesting that looks like it's from the new update, I'll come back to you guys. But up until that point, uh, well, uh, until then, I'll, I'll see you here in a minute. So I think last time I took a really roundabout way because I feel like I got here a lot faster than I did uh, the first time. But there's the unknown tower already. So we're getting close, and I think up here is where that group of uh, dust bandits was before. Yeah, right over there is where they were. Okay. 
goes. Uh, the only thing we found so far is that and a holy military base down here that I don't want to mess with. Might be cool to kind of explore into these mountains too, because I don't think I've ever done that before. We'll do that after we deal with uh, Thumper. Just a random tech hunter out here. Another wandering trader, but I don't. No, I can't talk to him. It's with all these wandering traders that I can't talk to. This is Dust King Tower. So, this is where he was. That's a good thing I didn't try and go here in the first episode. <laughs> I didn't know for sure if this was the place. But it was, there was a lot of dust bandits up here. It was a weird tower. I could see this in it, so... It is good to have that confirmation. I've never fought the Dust King before, so... We're gonna see how this goes. Open lock. There's no one doing all the food. Everyone's fine. Spike, are you eating? I think it might be. Oh, Spike, you can't open doors. Hello? King, King of the Dust? I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Two, just to. To try and keep people from sneaking in behind us. Alright, Ted. Boy's on pass, though. Oh, that's a lot of people. Okay, Dust Boss. Dust King. $35,000 bounty. Not terrible. A lot of dust bandits, a lot of dust bosses. Just trying to look around, see if there might be any loots worth taking after this. See if we got anybody else. That's locked. That's, that's a good sign. Oh. I don't know if I can see. Cat is a prisoner here. Alright, so they got one prisoner. What are you doing? We're just gonna step in here real quick and see if they all freak out. You aren't one of my men. How the hell did you find my tower? Well, it's a giant tower. Uh, run. Alright. Everybody kind of stay back here. Yeah, let them come to you. That's a lot of red. <sighs> well, I'm already down. Is anybody in the crew down? No, everyone's doing all right. I'll kill you and gut you like a stinking fish. It's not very nice, Ted. Come over here. I need a pile of other bounty hunter meat bag carcasses. Yeah, the the fight has. Spilled out into the uh, the main tower. Slow line is taking on some dust bosses. Do we do we actually get the dust king? Dust boss. I can't. Ned's down. It's only Ned and me that are down. Oh, and Spike. guys going. Oh. There's a dust bandit manning the ballista. Did we did we actually get them all? Oh. 
There we go. I was going to say, this this last bandit's going to be the, uh, the last boss of the game. I like having a melee person, like a, uh, a martial artist on our team. It's, it's pretty nice. I can't just drag their equipment off them anymore, but I can just take it and drop it. Alright, everybody. Just rally right here. That was... This was a lot quicker and a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, oh, it's Dust Boss. Dust Boss. Okay, he already healed up. Everybody heal each other. Medicking? No, why aren't you medicking? Oh, because you don't have any, uh. Okay. We get everybody? Good. Right, Ted. I've. <laughs> I've lost the Dust King. Boss, boss, bandit, bandit. He didn't make it upstairs. Oh, hey, there he is. Got him. <laughs> Got him again. Let's see if he's got anything good. Just a horse chopper. He's got. Oh no, that's a regular dust bandit. The king was right here. <laughs> Why is this happening? It's a Dust King. Dust King, there we go. A Ring Saber Model Mark III, that's uh, nothing really that I want to take. The Dark Father shirt, maybe. And then someone's going to have to hold the Dust King. You pick him up. Ted, let's loot the place real quick. See if they got anything worth anything in here. A scavenger's bag. I uh, will take the scavenger's bag. Let's get some cats. We got 590 cats. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Alright, can we sleep in these beds? Oh, we can. Buddy who's injured. Sleep in these beds. Might not be the smartest idea with all these guys here, but we can get back up and beat them down. This wasn't too terribly difficult. I, that, th that's just because we had so many people with us, though. I mean, I'm sure if we didn't have all these people, it would have been a little bit... Oh! Someone else is going to have to pick up the Dust King. Scrubbot, you pick up the Dust King. Alright, the United States. There you go. Uh, Ninja Blade, don't care. Chew Stick, yes. Next floor.
there was a lot of them here and if there would have been that camp down at the bottom like there was the first time we came through here this would have been more difficult i believe if it would have pulled them that way but we just we had more numbers than they had so some kind of cup don't care rice bowl that's pick a lock Let's see if there's anything good in here oh pearl urn an iron stick we're gonna take all the food and that first aid kit those are worth 600 so we'll take them medium backpack it's always good to have extra backpacks just in case we find more people motors i don't think are worth it for how much they weigh uh, grog, yeah, we'll take the grog. That's worth a fair bit. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nine whole cats. Grind machine, a first aid kit, and a wooden bowl. But there is cats up here. Talk to cats. Oh, hey, a new guy. Want to chat? I get so excited when I get visitors to talk to. Not much to do in here, see? Sometimes I like to count flies. I call this one Chubbs because she's a bit overweight. That's, she's the only friend I have here. Okay, I just... Sorry, I don't... That's great, but... Okay, I just... Do you have any friends? Tell me about your friends. Tell me about everything. What's your favorite snack? Do you have any? Do you have an innie or an outie? Which would you rather have? A head the size of a nut or a, a head the size of a watermelon? We can chat later. Let's get you out of here first. What happened to you? What are you in here? Why are you in here? What happened? Well, it was a while ago, but I had a date with a girl from out of town, so I put on my best clothes. I was so excited for it. I'd been writing letters to woo her for months. Now here's a tip. Don't wear nice clothes in the Outlands because bandits will mistake you for a rich merchant. They took me uh, for ransom, but ain't nobody going to pay it because the nobles don't even know who I am. And as if I know anyone with those kind of cats, it's been a long time. Seen a few seasons go by at least. They sure going to be peeved at me for standing her up. Let's get you on that date. You've been here for that long? Hold on, I'm busting you out. Only an idiot would venture into the Outlands dressed like that. I don't have time for this. You talk way too much. Uh, let's get you to that date. What? You can get me out of here? It's been so long. Yup. Pick the lock. I'm free. I'm finally free. You're a hero. All, all in a day's work, sir. Take me with you. Oh, hey, cat joined. Cat, what are your skills? Oh, you have a lot of bread on you. Loin cloth. Uh, we might take some of the other stuff off these guys just so he can have a uh, decent gear. And we just picked up some backpacks. So, there you go. You got yourself a backpack, and that bread's going. Oh, well, no. Not in my backpack, in your backpack. So you can share with the rest of the class. It's probably an easier way to do this, but I already did this. So everybody just calm down, it's fine, it's taken care of. Alright. Let's see, that's not empty. We're gonna check these last few. We're going to heal up for a bit, and I guess we're just going to explore this mountain area back here since this was pretty quick. No, that's empty grog cannon. These aren't empty, are they? No. Whatever it is, I'm sure everybody else can handle it. Let's hold on for one second, guys. Take the meat, take the food. Alright, Ted, go do what you need to do. Oh. <laughs> They've already been taken care of. I don't even think anybody had to get up. Blood loss KO. Some of these people are in dying. Alright, you're still fat. 
baptized. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let them heal up for a minute, and then I'll come back to you guys once everyone's kind of fully healed. All right, everyone's healed up. Uh, like one dust bandit got up and we murdered them. We've got the dust king with us. We're just gonna bring the dust king with us for a while uh, as we explore. So I'm not sure where the closest place to turn him in would be. We cannot go to bad deep to turn him in. So we're just going to explore back in through here if we... Oh, whoop. They locked us in. There we go. Oh, what? We're being attacked by something. Oh, <laughs> Spike, stop. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Uh, so I guess if we go this way, we'll we'll go deeper into these mountains back here. And there, there, there might be something over here. This looks like a spot where something would be. Uh, don't whoop. Cat's not running with the group. He's just in a full-on sprint. So, Dust, Dust King is checked off the list. Um, we still need to find Tin Fist. I feel like there's another bounty out here somewhere too. I don't, I don't know who it is though. There's the Dust King. There's the Bug Master. Now there's Tin Fist, and I feel we gotta find Blood Bandits at some point. We we heard about them in the last episode. I don't know if they're actually in the game or anything. Um, I think Hobbs is the one who tells you the story about the Wailing Banshee too. Uh, I would I would love if that was actually a thing in this game because that would just be it'd be kind of out of place. But I like um, I like when that kind of stuff's in here, like horrifying stuff that's out of place for the world. And I guess it wouldn't be too out of place because there's like it could be like a monster or something like that. There's a uh, there's beak things and leviathans and all sorts of other stuff in here, so. A wailing banshee isn't too absurd. Hungry bandit leader. That's new. Falling leader. So I guess it kind of tells you who the leader of the group is now. Who they're following. So I guess if I were to take out the leader. Um, the rest, they had to put a new leader or something in? I don't know. That's that's new, though. I noticed it with the Taxman as well. Except the Taxman had an actual uh, leader tab above his head. I'm kind of just testing out, uh, we'll just, I, I want to see what's, what all is new, just running around here and stuff, too, so. Kind of neat. Is that the hub? Oh no, that's a holy military base. I keep scrolling out to see if I can get a better view, but I can't. There's a holy military base up there, so we need to be careful. I'll come back to you guys if I run into anything new or if we get in a fight or something. We've got a group of escaped servants here that aren't messing with us. It's a pretty big group too, so it's good to know that they're not going to mess with us. Uh, we did find a um, way station that we're going up to right now. Oh, Traitor's Guild. He's got diplomatic status, too. I need help smoothing things over with, you know. Uh, I'm done for the day. I still need something. Come back tomorrow. But this guy says that if I need things smoothed over, I can talk to him, but he's done for today, so I'm gonna wait until the morning. See if I can talk to him again. See what's uh, what's going on with that. So I'll come back to you guys when it's morning here. Alright guys, so I've waited here until 5 a.m. I guess. <clears throat> and now I can talk to this guy again, so... Ever need help smoothing things over with you know where to find me I don't know what that means 
I'm done for the day. Still need something. Come back tomorrow. I can't. I don't know what this guy is for. If anybody knows what this particular guy is for, it says Trader's Guild Pacifier, but I don't know exactly what that means, and his dialogue's not very uh, helpful. Uh, let's see here. There we go, that's what I want. Factions. Uh, oh, pff, Dust Bandits are negative 90 now, that's good. Tax collector is about to come. This is new too. It, it tells you the upcoming problems, and I've got upcoming problems with United Cities. We still have plenty of money. Um, I guess there, that's all there is here. So we'll uh, we'll keep moving on. come back to you guys if I find anything else. We're going to kind of circle around to go back up this way. I don't want to go into this part. Alright guys, so we've just discovered something new. It's called Tiny Settlement, and I guess it's this up here. That is... Yeah, Tiny Settlement. It looks like it's broken down though. We'll go check it out. Just to see if there's any survivors. By home? Oh, okay. So there's some stuff in here. Nothing to, uh, nothing to buy here. A lot of building materials. We're going to take those. So if anyone's, uh, thinking about coming out this way, you can make a stop off at Tiny Settlement, get yourself a bunch of building materials. Enough to get you set up somewhere, at least. Okay, so some of these building materials we can't pick up, and uh, the tax collector is already coming back towards the training outpost. I wonder what happens if blood spiders get a hold of them, or if they just... Oh, what is this? That's a red. Oh, okay, it's a holy nation faction. Well... I don't feel so bad stealing from it then. Let's see here. Those look kind of cool. I don't know if we'll be able to actually get to them though. We'll try heading out that way though. See if we can't find anything. Are those, are those goats or are those bone dogs? Those are goats. Goats aren't bad. Bone dogs are kind of bad. They do a lot of bleeding. Tax man's about halfway there. It'll give me a notification whenever uh, the tax man gets close enough, so we'll, we'll go back for that. Um, but until the tax man comes or I find something else, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you guys here in a minute. Okay, guys, so we've hit the limit on the map right here. We can't go any further, and I think those weird formations are just on the other side of the map. Uh, oh, Bane of Limit, yeah, see. I'm right on the edge of the map here, so. Unfortunately, we can't check out those cool plateau areas yet, but we will get there eventually. I really want to be able to go on the other side of the map. Let me throw. Should, the update should be coming out soon. I don't, well, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. I don't know when it's supposed to come out. I think it said, like, third quarter, but I, I could be wrong. I gotta, I gotta check out the the dev blog again. Everybody, go check out LoFi's dev blog. You know, see see for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Okay, guys. So right here next to a holy mine, but I just discovered this unknown tower off in the the distance. It showed it up on my map. It says barracks. So I don't know if that's like a holy nation thing or what. So I think we might go there. But I'm not sure. I kind of want to take out this holy nation mine too. We'll 
we'll hit the mine on the way back. We're, we'll check out the uh, the tower over there, and I think that's gonna be it. We'll get the tower, uh, the mine on the way back towards the hub. We'll just take the same route we we took coming up here. So I'll come back to you guys when once we get to the uh, thing. oh taxman. Where's the taxman at? Uh, okay. Says no upcoming problems. Maybe the taxman got eaten by blood spiders. I haven't reloaded my game or anything like that since the taxman was supposedly coming, so I don't know what happened with that. Slave mongers. Get him. Oh, that's going to one times. Attack all targets. There we go. That way we're not just focusing on some of them. Looks like they've got themselves handled pretty well. Everyone's pretty competent fighters now. I like it. It's nice to have a lot of people, so uh, we got ourselves covered. Looks like minimal casualties. And. Barely even anybody hurt. Slow line. Take the meat from their dog. Possibly edible. Only for high prints. Okay. Also edible for animals. That's good to know. Let's see what they've got. Nothing I want. You can keep your stuff. Alright. Where's that tower? Up there. I'm going to be real upset when this is a slave monger tower. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made it up to this tower. The black dragon ninjas. This is what it looks like. What does it say on the map? Tower of ninjas. Okay. Let's see if there's anybody we can talk to in here. get our ambassador Ted is this who are you is this public it is not public I'm Ted the crook I'm here to see if there's anybody who will talk to me in here do you have any kind of what kind of diplomatic status not seeing anyone to talk to. They don't have any kind of prisoners. Can't talk to any of these guys. Whoa. Okay, they're just going to keep Okay, well, I can't do anything with this, apparently. It's just Tower of Ninjas. Do, are they on my faction list now? Yeah, Black Dragon Ninjas. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We, uh, we found another faction that I didn't know existed in the game. There's a river down there. It's towards Bad Teeth. If there's anything else around here. I 
That looks like a pyramid or something. Yeah, I know that's probably nothing, but it looks like something. Well, we could probably go check that out. We'll do that in the next episode. Because right now, uh, I've done pretty much everything else that I, that I want to do. We explored. We got the Dust King, who we're still carrying around. <laughs> um, and luckily, he's just wounded and not dead, because I didn't even think about that. But yes, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Kinchi episode. Um, if you're new here, you like the stuff, remember to subscribe. If you've been here, you've been watching my stuff, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you guys tune in all the time to watch my Kinchi videos and the other things that I do on this channel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.